this is a problem of virtual work where we have to apply the principle of virtual work to find the value of this k constant spring constant uh, for the given system which is in static equilibrium if you will see the system carefully first you can identify number of forces so there is a force of m which is acting around this point a which is a pin joint this is a rod basically if you will see and try to understand the configuration of your system uh, there is a rod which is pin at point a so it is it is it is able to rotate about point a and because of the its own weight it is trying to rotate in this direction at the same time there is a moment which is also trying to rotate the rod in the clockwise sense however there is a spring connected at this point and because of the spring the system is in the static equilibrium that means in the current position the spring is stretched and there is a certain extension in the spring which can be i understand from the question that it is given that the spring is unstretched when the bar is vertical what this mean it means that initially the system may have this kind of configuration where this this is your bar where this is your bar and this is a pole or sleeve that means the stree spring is always in the horizontal configuration otherwise if you will fix your spring somewhere here and then this is your connection in in the beginning case where the spring is unstretched then you have given a moment to your system because of the moment the system will get a different uh, configuration and suppose the rod is coming at this point where it is having an angle 60 degree when it will reach here definitely the spring will extend but this end of the spring is able to slide vertically so the spring will get acquire this configuration and ultimately the spring will come in this position that means this length is nothing but the extension in the spring this is the length of the rod so if i know the length of the rod and this angle i will be able to get that this value will be your l sin theta so now if i will go and i will make the free body diagram of my system i know that thus this rod is going to have number of forces one is the reaction force at this point suppose this is point a so i will writing this is this r y the second will be the r x there will be a moment m there will be a spring force which is equal to k del value and there will be a gravitational force which is equal to mg because the mass of the rod is given as 5 kilogram length of the rod is 2 kilogram it is a rigid rod which is fixed uh, which is pinned at joint a and spring is connected at point p in the given configuration the system is in static equilibrium and you have to use the principle of virtual work to find the spring constant however all the other forces like moment and the weight are given to you so now as i have seen that in case of virtual work your main job is to give a virtual displacement to your system after giving the virtual displacement you have to write the work done because of all the forces so my first job would be to identify the forces identify forces in the given case how many forces are there one is the moment another one is the gravitational force and the third force is the force because of the spring here in so in the given condition i have already calculated the deflection in the spring in this case means this initially the spring was unstretched but when we applied certain force and system now has got a configuration which is in static equilibrium and spring is subjecting to certain extension that means there is a spring force so when i will make the free body diagram of my rod this is the state of my system which is in the static equilibrium condition now for the principle of virtual work after this i have to give a virtual displacement to my system let's i i can give the virtual displacement that means we know that the joint a is a pin joint that means i have to follow the constraint of my system constraint of my system that means i cannot extend the rod this way because it will going to change the length of the rod and the length of the rod is a constraint which cannot be changed 
Second, is it possible to move the rod in this way or this way? No, this is not possible because joint A is a pin joint. That means the only degree of freedom left for us which is the rotation of this rod about this point A. So you must understand that when you have a problem of virtual work, there are two, three things in the beginning you should understand and you should identify. The first job is to just identify the forces. So in this case, there are three forces, moment, spring force and the mass force, mg force. You can think also there are two reaction, but we know that the joint A is a constraint point which cannot go anywhere. So the forces or the reaction force at these two points will not going to contribute in your virtual work equation and we will see it uh, soon. The second thing, the how your system is going to get the different configuration after the giving the virtual displacement and you know that the system has only one degree of freedom which is the rotation about this point A. That means when you will give the virtual displacement you have only choice to give a rotation to your system. Yeah, but you have a choice that whether you can give a rotation to the clockwise direction or the counterclockwise direction. Suppose I am giving a rotation to the clockwise sense so this is the virtual displacement. So I have given a virtual displacement to my system of del theta. When I will give the virtual displacement to this point, I can understand that this point will move in this direction with certain amount. So but this is my point B. So this is my del B. Similarly, I know that this is my point where the gravitational force is acting and after giving the virtual displacement, this point is coming downward as well as also it is going going in the horizontal direction as well as in the vertical direction. So let's write this is my point C now. So this would be the virtual displacement. So this would be del YC. At the same time, if I want to find this horizontal distance, that would be del XC. And the third force which is acting at the point M, which can also be right in terms of del theta, so no need to do anything special for this. Instead of, uh, and then these two forces, these two forces are acting at this point, but because the system is constrained at this point, the, there will not be any work done because of the force for Ry and Rx. So let's summarize again that when you have a problem of virtual work, what are these conditions you have to follow? First thing is to identify the forces. After identify the forces, the second thing, you should see the system and try to find that if I will give a virtual displacement to my system, what would be the configuration the system can have. That means you have to see the constraint of your system. One constraint is that you, the, the it can rotate only about point A. The second constraint, you cannot change the length. However, when you will give the rotation to your system, a uh, spring may extend further because of the virtual displacement. So now this is my virtual displacement. I have given a virtual displacement in the clockwise sense. Uh, you can also give the virtual displacement in the counterclockwise sense. After giving the virtual displacement, my next job is to write the total virtual work done. So my total virtual work done will be because of the three forces. One is the spring force. Second one is the gravitational force. And third one is the moment. Let's start with the moment. M and the work done because of the force moment will be M into del theta. Whether it will be positive or negative. So the second important thing is that you have given a virtual displacement in the clockwise sense. And your moment is also acting in the clockwise sense. That means the work done because of the moment would be positive. On the other end, if you would have given a virtual displacement to the counterclockwise direction, the displacement of the rod and the force will would have been in opposite direction and the, the sign would be negative in that case. But here, the moment is also in the clockwise sense and my virtual displacement is also in the clockwise sense, so this will be positive. The second force is the K del force. K del force is acting towards the left However, the point B is moving towards the right. So the work done because of the K del force which is going to be multiplied by the del B will be a negative force. The third force is the gravitational force. The gravitational force is acting in the downward direction and my virtual displacement is also giving a downward motion to point C. That means the mg will also be a positive force which is going to be multiplied by only del yc. There will not be any term which is going to show that del y xc. Why? Because if I will see this term, I can see that the force is acting in the downward direction but the motion is in the horizontal direction. So the direction of the force and the direction of displacement are perpendicular to each other and I know that the F dot D or F D 
in the fd cos theta the theta is going to be 90 degree here that means this term will not contribute in my total virtual work done statement and i am not putting this term at the same time these two terms are these two forces are there but point a is not going anywhere so this will not so will not be there so now in actual work uh, my equation there are three terms one is because of the moment another one because of the my spring force and third one is because of the my gravitational force now you may think you that as i am giving a virtual displacement actually this del term is also going to change that means i can think that my for this term may be k del plus del b and then my work done will be del b this would also be a term but we know that this virtual displacement is very very small uh, so i assume that the del is much much greater than this del b term and therefore i am not going to consider the del b in deflection also so i am going to keep that the spring force will be only k del and the del b is your virtual displacement this symbol basically defined by delta and this is your virtual displacement now we know that this is my equation and i have to get the value of this spring constant k here if i'll see carefully my total work done is m del theta minus k del del b plus mg del y c and this total work done will be zero because this is your total virtual work done and actually you are not displacing your system so this virtual work done would be zero if you are more interested to find the theoretical aspect of virtual displacement you can see my other video where i have explained the uh, concept of uh, virtual work so now let's come back here this is my equation and i know that the system is having only single degree of freedom maybe that can be assumed as the rotation of the rod or the motion of point b or motion of point c but all the points are connected to each other and any of the motion can predict the motion of other point that means the system has only one degree of freedom and i i will be able to get a relation between the del theta del b and del y c and what how i can do that this is a second point uh, which is a very important point and i particularly follow a specific method you can also think it's a trick that to get these values what you need to do first you have to make the your original configuration suppose this is your original configuration where this is your point a this is your point b this is your point c this is the angle which is of 60 degree and the length of the rod is 2 meter so this part will also be 1 meter and this part also be of 1 meter you have to find the value of del b that means you have to find that basically the b point and the deflection in x direction so i can write that this is b del b in x direction so i need the x coordinate of my point b so i need the x coordinate of point b because i am interested in del x b at the same time i am interested in the vertical motion of point c so i need the y coordinate of my point c third is the rotation which is already there so i am no, i am going to eliminate these two term and i am going to get these two term in terms of del theta so i am not going to touch del theta part only i will be interested i am interested in to find the del b x and the del y c in terms of del theta so as i told you that after writing the virtual work equation or the total virtual work done you go back make the original diagram in original diagram you write the coordinate of point b and this is the x coordinate of point b so i know the x coordinate of point b but the, but the question arises with respect to which point so always remember your reference point will be the point which is not going to move after the virtual displacement and in all the problem you will surely find a point which can be used as a reference point because after giving the virtual displacement what this point this point will not move in my case is the a is a point which is a pin joint so after giving the virtual displacement maybe in terms of rotation point a is not going to move anywhere and that therefore this would be my reference point so this is my reference point a and i have to write the coordinate of point b that would be the length and its cos component so this is my xb 
Suppose there would have been a force in the vertical direction. In that case, when the rod will rotate, this force is also going to give some virtual work done and in that case, the virtual deflection of this point will become important for me. But in this case, I know that the rod is moving in this way. It is the point B is going horizontally as well as vertically. But as the force is acting in the horizontal direction, I am only interested to find the horizontal virtual displacement. So this would be my two cos theta. I am not giving that 60 value. I am writing it as a 2 cos theta. Similarly, the y component of point C will be the vertical point. This would be my y C and the y C will be 1 sin theta. After getting these two value, as I am interested in del x B, this del is nothing but a variation to your point B after the virtual displacement because when you are giving a virtual displacement the point B is having a variation in this direction variation means what this is a change similarly the point C having a variation in this way that means this is also a change and that change can be calculated by taking the first derivative of your coordinate so this del is a variation or the del is a operator and which is equivalent to the first derivative that means if i will take the first derivative of this value i will get the del x b so my del x b will, will be minus 2 sine theta del theta it is equivalent to the partial differentiation similarly del y c will be cos theta del theta now I have identified these two terms and you can see here that these two terms are in terms of del theta. So when I am going to put back del xb and del yc in this equation, I will be able to remove the del theta term and there will be relation between all the forces. But at this point, I request all the students to please remember when you will get this virtual displacement term you are going to put back these two terms in your equation but here you are not going to consider this sign you are going to take the absolute value of this in this equation and why because you see here i have already put sign here this m will be positive and k del will be negative mg again positive that means i have already defined which work will be positive and which work will be negative therefore once you have decided the sign when you will put this value back here you are not going to use this sign if you are going to use this sign then you are going to again change the sign of your total work done total work done equation and that will give the wrong result so please remember if you are going to decide your sign at this stage you are not going to use sign when uh, of the virtual displacement so that i am not going to use negative sign i am going to use only this magnitude and when i will put this magnitude into my equation my equation will become m del theta minus k and i know that the del this del is nothing but your this value which is l sin theta so l is 2 so this is will be 2 sin theta then this is the deflection i have just written this k del this is my k del value and when i am writing del bx del bx is nothing but the 2 sin theta del theta and then third term is mg del yc the yc is this displacement or change in the position because of the virtual rotation so this is again a positive so mg mg cos theta del theta is equal to 0 and you can see here that in all the three terms you are having del theta del theta del theta which can be eliminated from and my equation will become m minus 2 to 4 k sin square 60 degree plus m g cos 60 degree is equal to 0 i know that mass is given as 5 kilogram and the m is given in the question i shall see the m is given as this is not shown here the m is basically 100 newton meter so this m is 100 newton meter when i will put all the value in the question this this is 100 so this is 100 minus 4 sin square 60 k plus mg let's g is 10 so it will be 50 cos 60 is equal to 0 this will give you the value of k for your given problem
थैंक यू